Okay, so you have a display pole, and somehow when you plug yours into your Clover station, or your Clover Mini, or any of these devices, it's not turning on, it has a blank screen. This typically only happens on the Clover station, the old model. The new ones, it'll work just fine, and the Mini works just fine. Once in a while, uh, some business owners, uh, when they plug it to your old Clover station, it doesn't turn on. There's a very easy fix for that, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so what you would do is you would take your display pole, I took it out of the box here as you can see. All I'm doing is going to plug it in first so I can show you what the issue is and how to fix it. So when you plug it into the bottom of your, um, I'm not going to lift up my Clover uh, printer, printer to do that, but I do have an extension so I can make it easier to show you. This extension is connected to the bottom USB port here. There's four of them here. So I have one of these plugged into this here. Okay, so watch, when I plug it in, nothing comes on the screen so you notice that this one is on why it's because it's plugged into that one but this one doesn't turn it on so to fix that what you would do is you unplug it this is a charger uh, travel charger this is a Andro iPhone or Android charger it has a USB connection to it and laptop you can use any three any of these three devices I recommend a laptop so all you do is plug this to your laptop the display pole And then within 10 seconds after you plug it to your laptop, plug it back to your Clover, okay? So I have it plugged in. See how it's working? It says, thank you, have a nice day. That's because it's plugged into my laptop. It will do the same thing if you have it plugged to this or this. Again, make sure to have this plugged into your wall outlet. Okay, so what you would do is, once you unplug it from your laptop, count down to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, there we go, see it's working. As long as you plug it back to your Clover station within 10 seconds from your laptop or from your charger or from one of these things, it will turn on, okay? And that's how you get your display pole working. Once it's connected, you're good to go. Just go to the register app and start ringing up transactions and it will show it on the pole display here. So I'm gonna buy something here. See, there's the prices on there. Again, the solution is very easy. All you have to do is plug it to your laptop, to the outlet, or to one of this, and it will get, get it working right away. Okay? Um, I mean, well, yeah, by the way, make sure you have the Display Pool app installed first. Again, you just go to the App Market or More Tools and install the Display Pool app, and it will start working. So once you get it going, um, again, it will, look, it will look just like this. Just attach the base and the rest of the pieces, and you have a fully functioning Display Pool uh, ready to go. Thank you so much. Have a good day.